I lost it. I lost my wedding band. <laughs> we were camping, working late at night with an ax in the rain, it was cold. I guess my finger shrunk a little and the ring was gone. <laughs> so then that's why if you've been paying attention, suddenly there was a time where Tim was wearing a silver ring, no ring, and then this black, this is just a rubber flexible, which is great for the shop because it's safe. So I'll probably actually keep wearing this in the shop. But what I'd like to do is make a kind of a nicer wedding band or ring today. So that's part of that story. But then also, if we would rewind to this spring, I had the great idea of trying to make a project out of some thermite. If you've never seen thermite, let's go take a look at that. Hey guys, Tim the Blacksmith, welcome here. Today we're gonna to be playing around with some thermite. Thermite to make iron or steel, that then into our project. Never tried this before, really looking forward to it. Hoping it's gonna work, don't know. Should be a fun ride anyways. Hopefully we don't uh, burn down the neighborhood, but uh, should be good. Let's jump in and see what's going on. Okay, so this is actually gonna be our makeshift crucible. And uh, what we've done is we've just put some uh, refractory that I had left over from the forge in here. And we've been kind of trying to speed dry it. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. And then we're getting close to this being done. So Martin has just been sifting through our off cuts off the bandsaw to create some additional iron to put in our mixture. So he's just going through and cleaning it because we had some aluminum in it just because we're cutting aluminum on the saw. And then this is the more pure stuff here that we're gonna actually use to put in the thermite. Okay, so here's what's going on. We're ready to mix our thermite together. So we have our aluminum powder here, and then we have our iron oxide here. This is black iron oxide. That's gonna create the reaction, and then I'm also gonna add some additional iron, or steel, I guess rough steel. It's from the bandsaw cut, so it's relatively fine, relatively pure. So it's a one to three ratio. So our aluminum here is three pounds, and then we've got nine pounds of iron oxide, and then I've got one pound of the steel here. So we're gonna mix that all together, and then that should be ready to go. I weighed this all out carefully with a scale just off camera. We don't have a bigger pail, do we? Oh my goodness, we are gonna die. We are gonna die. All right, next step. So I'm just gonna put the thermite in here. This is the refractory dried here. It's definitely gonna be sacrificial to a degree. I don't know what, because obviously it's not rated for this kind of temperature, but one inch steel through this you know, plus the ceramic, I think it's gonna be fine. And then I'm, I'm hoping that we can just pry out basically this ingot once it's formed. So here we go for the graph, or thermite into it. Oh my goodness, is this all gonna fit? Wow, it just fits. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be crazy. <laughs> all right, 12 pounds of thermite, here we go. What could go wrong? What could go wrong here?
to come in close, guys. I don't know if you can hear this. You can actually hear bubbling molten metal. Oh, that is so bright. Incredible. Top of the uh, lid is just glowing. Super hot. I, I can't even look at that. That's like so bright. Way brighter than the forge ever gets. Let's see if I can use the camera to see in. Crank up the... Uh... That's as dark as the camera will go and you still can't see anything. Wow. Let's kick the top off here and see what it looks like. It's molten metal. Oh, that must be water I kicked in there. There we go. Now we can start to see. That's again, camera is fully cranked down. So bright. I am just so happy how that went. Everything went super good. We're just going to let it cool off now and then can't wait to see what it looks like on the inside. surprised how well the refractory is done. It didn't penetrate the bottom of it at all. So I'm just going to see if we can crack it out here. Not really sure what's going to happen here. You can see the glowing bottom there. Basically, you have the slag and then our steel or iron, whatever you want to call it, stuff we're after. Okay, so this is the ingot here after a cleaning up with the grinder and chisel, pneumatic chiseler and stuff like that. There is some holes in it here, so. I don't think I'm out of the woods yet, but I'm going to stick it in the forge and start seeing how it forges and hopefully we can just refine it as we go. back of the shop just so we can talk a little bit so you don't have that forward blown over the audio and can't hear anything I'm saying. I can take the earplugs out too so I'm not yelling at you. So obviously we've had some issues with it cracking up on us. You can see how the power hammer broke right down the center and then the power hammer was a little bit too like aggressive I thought so I've been using the hand hammer to try to seal up those cracks and get it better but the grain of the material is so coarse I'm almost wondering if it's like not together or something so I got it baking like super hard in the forge almost like a semi melt it's either gonna work for me or it's gonna work against me if it works for me it's gonna melt it together if it works against the grains gonna get even bigger and grosser and I'll just crack apart so not out of the woods but hoping we can still get the stick anyways we'll jump back in there and give it another go Oh man, 
this isn't working at all. It just keeps crumbling apart. I've tried welding it like crazy. Guess it just didn't fuse well. Oh, that sucks so bad. <laughs> so, the thermite didn't work. I wanted to forge it to be able to really manipulate it. At this point, I can't forge it. I'd like to go back and play with a whole bunch of different recipes. That's a story for another day. Today, this is the piece, one of the pieces that was left over from the thermite experiment. So what I'm hoping I can do, and I have no idea if this is gonna work, we're gonna cut this thing in half and see if I can get a piece that looks like it's solid enough that we can carve out this ring. I gotta do a little bit of design work here on some paper to figure out what I want, but that's the game plan. Again, there's micro cracks in this whole thing. It's a very weird looking material, but I'm relatively confident that this is gonna work. Relatively being uh, 70%. Let's jump in and see how this goes. Okay, so I've got it sketched out here. It's a little bit rough, but basically this is the design. Pretty simple. I wanted to keep it pretty, just simple. That's how I want my ring to be. And uh, I'm excited to use this thermite. I've actually been waiting on this project to do it for a while because I always wanted the right material to pick something that was kind of special to me. And I really like the way the thermite is made. It's such a cool process. So that's why I'm choosing to try to make it out of this. So we're gonna actually be able to do a lot of machining on this. I'm hoping to do most of it on the milling machine and uh, then just hand finish it up, polishing it. Hopefully it doesn't fall apart or anything like that when we get going. So let's do this thing, here we go. Okay, so I'm just setting up at the milling machine here to start cleaning this piece up. I did a little bit of grinding on it and whatnot. It's so weird because it's like, when you look at the like forged surface, it looks so crumbly and weak, but then when you cut it, it just has these micro cracks in it. Here we go. Okay, so I've just got this thing all machined up just so it sits nice and clean and square in the um, mill here. And so now I'm just gonna measure my height, which will be the thickness of the ring. I want it to be around 0.4 of an inch, give or take. So right now we're at, well, actually hang on, wait. We're at 0.55. I'll take it down another 100 thou, and then we'll call her good. It gives me 50 thou to play with if I wanna do any touch up work on it. Okay, so that should get me down to where I want it to be for my thickness. 58 thou over, I'm gonna leave that for now. Not too worried about it, looks good. I'm gonna pull it out now and just look around and see, to make sure that I get a good spot to put the ring. I don't want any huge cracks, even though as you machine it, they just keep coming up and up. So a little bit, just gonna go for it and see what happens, but machine's super nice though. It looks really good, so really happy about that all. Okay, so I guess that's it for me today. Thanks for watching. We're gonna pick this up in part two and uh, really looking forward to seeing how this develops. Really happy about how it machined. Definitely has some imperfections that concern me, but we'll keep going and see how it turns out. Have a good one, guys. See you next time.